died. I thought uh, thought my com- my keyboard wasn't working, but I guess it is. Howdy, howdy. Whew, man, time gets away from me. All right, so work schedules are completely changed. So now I have a lot of split shifts. So I'm going to be doing a lot of work break pinballs for pairs because um, I don't have nights off, at least for a while. So I'm going to try to get done today um, this gigantic relay bank, this big bad boy right here. So we're going to try to do that, get that cleaned all up. So I've done one before. You know, it was the one on the uh, OXO was uh, three times this big. Big giant thing on the bottom of this. This is OXO over here. OXO. Kind of can't can't really see it. It's right here. That's OXO. Uh, but we've done that one before. So we're doing a smaller version of the relay bank. Uh, a lot more accessible than the relay bank in Mayfair, especially with this... Uh, rotisserie uh, the one thing we're not going to be able to do is replace the coil sleeve on the coil because I don't have these big honking coil sleeves so we're just going to make sure it's nice and clean and we're going to do that Brent's painting the restaurant today so let me get my clay filled glass out of the way before I screw something up roll this vice over Vice out of the way. I just gotta make sure I have space. Whoa, crazy cameras. Knocking cameras around. I can do this. I can do it. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I can do it. Got this little bendy arm. Bendy arm. All right, so that's where I'm going to be. Anybody else want to be here? You're welcome to hang out. Let's see, what was I working on this weekend? I was working on recording my own music for Twitch and my own pinball machine design. So I was working on stuff. This gigantic reset coil. Chikunk. So what we have down here, we have the tilt, we have the game, game over, last ball, limit, number four, three, two, and one. Game is different. Is that start game? Not quite sure exactly what that is. We'll look at the schematics later, but all we're going to do is clean. Got time to clean. So I'm trying to uh, design my own pinball machine because hey that's the hot thing now design your own pinball machine so I have decided I want a wide body I don't know if they make wide bodies anymore but I want a wide body all right I'm going to take this shield off first for my machine wide bodies mean you get more more play more stuff to hit just make it full and exciting camera is like right in my face come here you that is not working maybe I should unscrew it more get set up there we go all right I'm gonna turn this one so I can see at least some setup from where I'm standing. What do we got? We have, this is exactly, oh look, these are just, these are not doubled up switch stacks. That's cool. But this is exactly like OXO. It just, yeah, just smaller. So we want to clean the switches and we want to take and clean this. And then I got to figure out the best way to do it. These have nuts on the back? No? Okay, that's awesome. All right, so this coil does not have nuts on the back, so we're golden there. Which one was it that had those nuts like that? I want to say lights, camera, action or something. No? Was it? What was it? 
that had the big ass coil in it that wasn't OXO. I don't know. One of these games has it. I think it might be Lights, Camera, Action. No. I don't know. Whatever. We're going to get in here and take this guy off. And I guess I can do that first. Yeah, we'll do this first and then we'll go up and do that. And all I got is these uh, nice, easy pins. Thank you, Williams. You are my friend today. And I'm going to leave that all I am. Let's take this off. Organize my stuff down here so I don't screw anything up. Anyway, how's everybody's uh, Monday? Monday cleaning and cleaning. All right, let's do there. Um, yeah, some of this we're going to be doing in place. All right, oh, now we got freedom. We got freedom there. Dropping it like it's free. There we go. Slide that up a little bit. Now this could slide off. Pull that out. Let's slide this guy back. We can't replace that coil sleeve because I don't have one that big. But we can clean it. And it does feel bleh. All right. That's okay. That's what we're here for. Ooh, coil sleeve moves. I don't have a replacement though, so we can't take it out. Ah, there we go. Put it back in there. Now, let's me get my good old 91% ready. Filling it up. I got paper towels too. I can see the coil stop is pretty dark too. This big honking coil probably hits a lot. There's paper towels. Good. We're going to need paper towels. Uh, so yeah, I was working on my own music for Twitch and I was experimenting with it this weekend. I hook up my, I have a keyboard and I hooked it up to my computer to make a make some files random music somebody's got some bad breaks outside i'm thinking that it's gonna be nice serene relaxing music so if anybody's watching me and i start playing the music they're either going to be so into it or they're going to be asleep but hey if i can help people relax that's that's great too all right clean that coil stop this is actually pretty easy to take this off. I've had some of these big ass uh, coils be a pain in the butt to take off. Uh, there we go. I'm just cleaning it out, man. Now, where are my Q-tips? Where are my Q-tips at? Where are my homies at? Take three of them. Just going to swirl around the inside here. Just slightly swirl. Not as black as it could be. But we're going to get it real good. Get it real good. The other thing that I would do um, if I was cleaning coils, I might do it with this one. We can do it with this one. Um, is get one of these really, really soaked in alcohol. And then we just kind of stick it in here and just twist our way to the top. And then when it starts to come out the other side, we just continue twisting it. A lot easier on these big ass coil sleeves to get it to twist through. There we 
So there we go. I'm going to say that that is, at least on the inside, it's pretty freaking clean. What I like of the OXO with this big, that big ass relay bank is the sound that it makes when it resets. <laughs> this huge chunky sound that you can feel throughout the machine. It's kind of cool. Trash, thank you. Missed it. Missed the trash. Let's turn off this knob. If Maybe I should examine the rest of these. See if they got lubrication on them. But I don't know. This, these seem pretty good. Yeah, no. I'm not going to worry about it. Or should I worry about it? Nah, I'm not going to worry about it. But I should? But no. It doesn't look like it's that hard to take apart. But let's take the resistance off and see how. Oh, yeah. That's... Super loose, that's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we are working on the restaurant, trying to get it painted because we feel that we might be opening indoor dining fairly soon, within like a month or so, hopefully. Which will also mean that the arcade can open, which is awesome. Ooh, all that dirt came off, that's nice. like that. I like that. Cool. Clean, clean. Clean and machine. Let's get inside there. Q-tip. that out. Gosh, that is stupid dirty. Do a little bit of the dry loom, I think, maybe. I hear Brent making noise. What would you do if I gave you dry lube? Ew. Get there. Nice, 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 nice. And I'll wipe this off a little bit better once before we put it in there, because I don't want to have hand oils if I don't need it. This can go back up like that. Kind of have to do it together so they don't want to fall apart. All right, so that's there. Where is there? It is this piece. One more hit of this guy. Nice. That there, that there, that like that. Bring that over. Come on, buddy. There we go. All that's in there. Thank you. And we'll screw it back in. Sit there for a second. Sit there for a second. There we go. Let's 
think of like the background music and like remember on Mr. Rogers maybe we watched Mr. Rogers how the music was just always so serene and they're showing you stuff and you just got so interested in things let's take that off real quick oh yeah that's super smooth right there that's nice I don't have to take the rest of that off nice 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 we do have to clean some switches oh man what's my mind telling me my mind is telling me I don't have to take it off but I want to it's one of those are you gonna do a thorough job or not should do that yeah I should take it off and clean them dang it yep yep all right sorry changed my mind taking it apart I'm glad that these little pins are easy to come off that means I can just take that off there do one piece at a time take this off all right maybe i'm doing this all backwards should be dang it where's my phone Camera, please. Thank you. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Get it in your head. Yeah, it may be clean, but it's not clean enough. Pull that out. Set that aside. There we go. I'm going to just take all of these off. I'm just going to do it all. Good. Don't drop pins. Quit sticking to me. Stop it. I'm gonna stop here for a second. I'm dropping these pins. Don't want to lose those. Cause that would suck. And so I don't get dry lube all over everything. I'm just going to spray the parts and not the whole mechanism. Oh. Why did I have to think that it was clean? My, bra my brain was like, you know what? We can do it. We can do it and leave it the way it is, but my brain was also like, I thought you were supposed to clean these things. It's your machine. This isn't for somebody else. Get it clean. Ooh. Oh, I didn't bring enough freaking Q-tips. Or cotton swabs, as they are generically called. two of them together that way I can get some resistance that's a good sound there we go ooh ooh forget all the goo oh where's the cameras you want a nice shot of how dirty it is I'm gonna dump this other end in and pull it back through the other side there we go all right this the floor will be my trash can for now all right 
this guy. We're going to dry lube a little bit into there. This guy. There's some like stuff on the back. Don't know what that's all about. Where's camera? There it is. Clear all this off. Should come off, hopefully. Residue of some kind. Making my kachunk kachunk going kachunk kachunk. Alright. Nice. Clean that off. Much better. I mean, I could hit it with some sandpaper too, but me, it's at least got all that goo off. Alright. Q-tips. Q-tips. What are your Q-tips? My Q-tip of the day. Offset your Q-tips when you put them in there. There we go. Go in the hole, but you still get some resistance. Other side. Suck it through. There we go. Good enough. Good enough. We already cleaned that other end. Now. Oh, this guy. The the big guy. Get this camera a little bit more this way. There we go. I know on the one, uh, this is this relates to OXO, not necessarily to this, because we'll find out when we play. On OXO, because it's so long, this bar on the very end one had a problem pushing the end one all the way up and locking it into place. So I basically, I wrapped electrical tape around this piece of metal so that it made a little bit thicker, just a little bit thicker, so it was enough to push the last one up that tended to get locked or miss its lock. Like, you knock all these down. It's supposed to go up evenly, but there was like this angle, and so like the end one would never lock on when or very rarely locked on when that was uh, kicked up. So I put a little piece of uh, electrical tape to bring it up. And only on this part, not on this part. To bring it up enough so it'll push it up. And that was uh, the relay, I think it's the extra ball relay. And it would activate the light well, yeah, it activated the whole thing. So, yeah. So I just cleaned off. I, I gave it a little bit more oomph to push all the way up. This one's probably not going to have any of that problem because it's so short. All right, there's that. Inside diameter. Ew, ew, ew. Yeah, this was a good call to take this apart. And clean it all the way. All the way. Ooh, I might have to go through again. That was pretty dirty. There we go. That was just enough. All right. Other side. Hear somebody talking outside. That's not a good sign. There shouldn't be anybody out there talking. Our building is a dramatically different color. The restaurant was a light tan and hey guys. I missed a spot. <laughs> you know I missed a spot. Our building was a light tan, now it's a dark red. It was completely different. Dang it. It's 
good. All right, that was my fault. That was my fault for thinking that I didn't have to take this all the way apart. Um, then I have been okay. Work schedules have gotten really crazy because Brent's got jury duty. So I have to have my schedule change, his schedule change. We're hoping that the arcade and the will be able to open this weekend, maybe, maybe not. But so far, okay. A little sore on my arm. Doing a little too much work on my left arm, and so I kind of have to be careful there. But yeah, doing pretty good. How are you doing? Is that on the end? It does not go like this, because that would get locked. Guilty, guilty, guilty. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Brent didn't want to get out of jury duty. He actually wanted jury duty. He's got, Brent's got a problem with sitting still. He does not like to do that. So hopefully he doesn't have to go a lot. Uh, dry lube. Dry lube. Now this guy is the one that goes in here, right? Yeah. Make sure I get the right one. This guy. Okay, did some cleaning on Indiana Jones, took off the Path of Adventure, should be called Pain in the Butt to Service. Right? Freaking, like they put some of these things together. Like you do know we have to take these apart, even if it's just changing out rubbers, you know? It's not, it's not like you're fixing a problem problem, even just to change out rubbers. I know Jurassic Park, when I got it, I immediately wanted to change out the rubbers and oh my gosh. To get down back behind the one ramp. Ugh. And Dracula is a pain in the butt to take apart too. All the freaking stuff to take off just to get to the optics. and ugh. I hear you, man. It sucks. They look cool when they function, but they suck. Alright, so this guy. Oops, I want to get this the right direction. I will verify with the... Uh, camera there are four rubbers to replace underneath it I don't think the ones I replace have ever seen the light of day <laughs> yeah I changed I swapped all of my stuff out. I got rid of the rubbers on the Jurassic Park like the second day I had it because I was like nope I'm gonna skip rubber and we're gonna go try I think most of them are the super bands which I'm not actually kind of fond of, really. Um, except for the bottom ones are where the slingshots are, are all Titans. Because they are not as bouncy as the Super Bands. But otherwise, I didn't want to change them out. I didn't want to change the rubbers out. And I didn't want them marking up everything. So I changed, all the, uh, changed them all to fake ones. Oh. Yeah, Dracula, oh my gosh. How many times did it take it apart and put it back together? And the people that serviced it before we got it, they didn't line up any of the ramps or anything. And so that was half of my problems of getting the ball to launch right. And, mm. so all this stuff. I think I'm doing something off here. Oh yeah, I got to put the hat. <laughs> it would help to put the plunger back in, wouldn't it? My fingers are a little greasy though. I don't want to touch this. All right, plunger. Get over here. Uh, I need to take this off real quick. I just made sure I was putting it back on the right way. Sit up there for a second. Now you. Nope, oh, turn that around. Almost put it on backwards. Yes, yes, yes. All right, sorry. Trying not to touch it. Trying not to. There we go. All right, now we'll lock these guys back in. All right, now, oop, I got one of them that's caught in this little hole. Now we can put this guy, oh, wait, hold on. 
that one on there. Ah, metal link. Yeah. There we go. This nice relay bank. I mean, everybody should look up what it looks like on OXO. I mean, I don't want to take Mars apart again. But, holy crap, this is nothing compared to OXO. There we go. That's in. That's in. That's how it goes, right? That is how it goes. Get all that excess gooey lubrication that they put on here. I don't know what that's about. All that off. We got our dry lube on there. Okay, we'll put the spring on in a second. Just want to make sure everything is functioning. Let's knock all these guys down real quick. And then that's good. Nice. Nice action going on there. Nice smooth action. Uh, your old Chicago had a worn hole in the plunger link. It wouldn't reset the drop targets. Ooh. Yeah. Like I said, the o our OXO had this, this end of it would not rise up high enough and we had to pad it to give it some, uh, give it some space to get all the relays to, to reset. There we go. That's good. Nice and nice and good. I don't even know what this is though. I want to know if it it what game means. I have to look at the schematics. Good work. Thank you. I wanted to say that this start game. Where does the schematic say? Doesn't it have the picture of the relay bank reset bank? start game or something it's weird it just says game it's not worn off or anything all right so to do what i did on oxo we got to do all the switch stacks and that requires taking each one of them off but obviously one at a time and i hope i'll see what i can do if i can just do it without taking uh and strapping them together. Plus it'll tighten them back down. I need a flathead. Flathead, flathead. And when, when you put them back on, we want to check to make sure that our fish paper is there and that these are lined up over the bar or under the bar, depending on how it should be. And that they're straight. Didn't get it all the way off here. Yeah, there's they're separating, so I might have to hold them together with something. out that way there we go so yeah there are uh, they're dingy Let's see how well I can do just holding it am I skilled enough to pinch it and hold it all at the same time I think I am. I think I can do it. Come on, buddy. Be a friend. All right. They're not. They're not obviously uh, Mayfair bad. Just don't want them to fall apart. There we go. 
each and every single one of them. I don't want to, I want to be careful not to readjust them while I'm cleaning. Um, the only thing that will probably readjust them is when I tighten these back down, if any of them were loose to begin with, they're going to be tighter. But we'll hope the pinball gods are in my favor and they're just like, you know what? It'll work better now and it won't work worse. I want to tighten it all the way down until I make sure I am lined up straight. There we go. Line it up, line it up, line it up. There we go. Oh, that one's already up. And just a preliminarily, prelim, preliminarily? Am I am I saying that right? Just kind of uh, check its distance on whether or not. I don't know which way I'm turning this camera. I'm in the wrong way to do it. That way. There we go. I just want to make sure that when you lift up, each blade is moving, so you get. You know you make good contact if the bottom blade moves along with the top one. And it's going good. They're all right. They're all right. Move on to the next. Some of these I may have to tape off. Some of these double ones, just because the wires start to get so close together, you might not be able to take the switch out except to take both of them out at the same time. Getting it, getting it. I'm trying to be a cameraman at the same time. Ugh. There we go. All right, hold everything together. Wires are tight. Wires are tight. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to need some more alcohol in my cup. Don't fall apart on me. Hold those together while I hold these together. Not too shabby. Come on, stay together. Stay together. There we go. There we go. It's not awkward at all. It's very important to make sure your blades go back the right way. There we go. Ooh. Lock that in. Lock it in. Lock it in in uniform of book, burning blood, men in every mode of escalate, automotive, incinerate, light a candle, light a motive, step down. I'll stop. No more singing. Singing of the REM. Just getting it screwed in. I'm not tightening it until I can line it up. Bottom one's not lined up. There we go. Stay. Stay. Get that tight. I think you know more words to that than Michael Stipe does. I actually know all the words to that song. <laughs> that is the only, the only karaoke I have ever done because I hate karaoke. And I said, well, if they have It's the End of the World as we know it, I'll do it. Because I didn't think that there would be a karaoke bar that had It's the End of the World. And they did. And I sang that. And I sang it without the lyrics. I turned away from the computer and I just sang it because, yeah. 
I like those really fast songs with a lot of lyrics like that. And yeah. Yeah, Michael Stipe, uh, I remember he, he was on, when they did, uh, I think it was Unplugged, R.E.M. Unplugged. And uh, he <laughs> he even said he was trying to look at the lyrics. He's like, I don't even know if these are right, but he was singing it off of that. And I did. <laughs> That's a bold karaoke move, yeah. I was just about to talk about Unplugged. Yeah. Um, careful, dropping stuff. And I did a... Uh, back in the day to learn those lyrics. I learned those lyrics when I was a kid and I did the old school back in the day, listen to the tape, pause it, write it down, rewind it, listen to the tape, pause it, write it down. You know, you couldn't look up, there was no internet to look up to see what the lyrics were. And I, uh, yeah, I had to do it the old school way, write them down. And of course, by the end of that, when you're writing them all down, you have it memorized. And so I've always known the lyrics to that song. I guess that's my hidden talent, I guess. Where did the alcohol go? Oh, it's hidden. I need to fill up my cup again. Uh. Yeah, those songs with lots of words. I had to do one in a play. It wasn't as bad as it's at the end of the world, but I liked getting the words out, getting the, getting my, uh, not getting tongue tied and making them clear. It's fun for me. I don't know why, but it is. All right, we're on the third one. We are all in REM when we were in high school. That was. I, was, I think that was my brother's favorite band back in the day, and then I just kind of copied him. Posters up on the wall and everything. Right next to my Batman poster. R.E.M. poster. There we go. Hold these stacks together, man. They do not want to stay together. I don't know if originally, like a lot of these switch stacks may have been glued originally together. I don't know if that's true or not, but they could just be held together by pressure from time. But either way, don't assume they're going to stay together. Ooh, that one has a lot of dirt on it. Which one is this one? Number three. You know, I remember I'm, I'm having problems with the lights on the blue lane lighting up. So that's good. That's good we're cleaning all this stuff off. Finally put it back together. Maybe the uh, lights will come on. That's good. All right. Tuck that bottom one underneath. Sandwich there. Thank you. I like the world of electromechanical because if you just clean it all, it'll work. But also, if you just clean it all, you'll make it worse. It's like, wait, what is it doing now? It wasn't doing that before. It's just cleaning it. Come on. I heard if you clean it, oh, it'll help. And break something. Yes. God, I love it. It's like there's a new problem. Like, wait, what is this? I wasn't doing that before. And then it's almost as worse. And it's still, it, technically, this still kind of happened with Hyperball. Is that it fixes itself. Because I still don't know what happened with the displays on Hyperball. They just kind of fixed themselves. I hate that because it's... That's great, it's working now, but what caused it to not work? Come on, buddy. I forgot to uh, do this one, to check it. That's good. That's all right. All right, three, number four. 
This is the last one before we start getting into the doubles. Double switches. Uh, what are, the one for uh, OXO I had to take completely off of the play field and then just kind of swing it back and lay it across the side rails in order to get it to clean. Let me see if I can show it. Where's my phone? Uh, let's do this. Come here, pin side. All my pictures are on pin side for OXO. See if they're in. Yeah. We'll blow that up. Uh, where are we going? Let's go here. This is. Uh, that's the relay bank on OXO that's underneath the play field. Maybe Hyperball was just rewarding you for playing it by fixing itself. Look at all those relays. Ching, 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 ching. Cleaning all that. And it's, yeah, it's underneath the, sits in the center of the play field. And I swung it down. And I had to rest it on the side rail to try to clean all these switches. That was not a fun day. That was, my gosh, that was, I think, over eight hours to clean all those switches properly. You did all the Lord's work on that. Heck yeah. I remember when I posted that, somebody said, because I fixed it, somebody said, well, you've graduated. You fixed an OXL. You, you pretty much know it. You, you got it. That's your graduation. That's my thesis was fixing an OXO, I guess. And man, it is true because I've had some difficulties on some other electromechanicals, but holy crap. That thing. Get in there and clean it. We gotta keep these poor guys working. Remember we I I bought the OXO from a guy in El Paso for three hundred bucks. And I think I put another four or five into it. So I think we made it as much as it's worth working. And that did not count the time. That's just parts. I don't know how many hours I put in there. A lot. Always do a lot. Come on, buddy. I like that the the OXO is uh, complex. Yeah, now you can sell it for four hundred bucks. There was a guy in who? Where was it? Oh, it's like in New Jersey or something that messaged me that he wanted me wanted to buy ours for like a thousand dollars and then like ship it and like um. I mean, that's a it's not really making any money, but we're not we're not in it to make money. I'd rather have an OXO. I like how complex it is. For being uh, electromechanical, that's why you have that huge ass relay bank. I like that it figured that it does that whole tic tac toe thing. So no, I am not going to get rid of my OXO. I'll take it home first. If we have to get it out of the arcade for space, I'll take it to my house. Poor little guy. Some beautiful engineering in that game. All right. Yeah. It's going good, going good. Huge ass technical huge ass is a technical term. Heck it is. Everybody knows that. Alright, that's our four. That's one, two, three, four. Whatever those are, I'm assuming they correspond to these guys. These uh steppers over here. This is the limit, last ball, game over, game and tilt. Limit. All right, let's see if I can do this without having to take both stacks off at the same time. Might have to. Where does this, and this also gets me halfway through this thing. When you 
get to all these wires bunched together. Let me see that. Uh, yeah, let's just take them both off. That way we can uh, get some movement. Huge relay banks. Okay. Stay there. Don't fall apart. I'm just trying to get some space. All right. Trying to get a cleaner. Fold the stack together. I guess if I had some sort of spring clip handy, I could... Uh, oh, this is a make break. Sorry, it's two sides. If I had like a spring clip or something that I can just clip on quickly to the back of the switch stack and not have to worry about them falling apart. But I feel that might get more in the way than my fingers do. There we go. Nice. You like that. You like to take a drink. All right. Give me this other, other one that's back in here. Single switch. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Noise, noise, noise. Tuck that under. Tuck that one under. And then we'll just put them back. Keep an eye on your wires. I've heard that uh, Williams was not very good at uh, getting the solder on there sometimes. And you may knock a wire loose doing this. Again, we're not going to tighten it all the way down. We're just getting it in the holes. In the hole! Into the hole! They are satisfying sounds, these relay banks. Chunk chunk. All the freaking electricity has to go through there. I did not look to see these pop bumpers. I know the pop bumpers in... Yeah, I don't think they are. The pop bumpers in OXO are DC. They're DC pop bumpers, which gives them a lot more life than the uh, regular AC ones. So that also adds to the excitement or the uh, fun factor of OXO because the pop bumpers go pretty crazy in there. And I don't know, these ones aren't too bad, I don't think. I haven't really, we haven't really played it, played it. But they are not... They're not DC. There is no label saying they're D there's DC and there's no bridge rectifier. So they are AC pop bumpers. Lined up. Yes. Yes. Make sure they are nice and tight. There we go. All right. Yes, my make break is making and breaking. That's going up and down. That's going up and down. There you go. Nice, nice. All right, so that leaves me one, two, three, four. So I did one, two, three, four, five. That leaves me these four to do tomorrow. Because uh, that's my hour. Got to get uh, the rest of the stuff done. Uh, yeah, and then all my shifts are the same. So Wednesday is different. I have to go to the, to the doctor on Wednesday. So that's, I may not work or I may not do this. So I finish this tomorrow and then hopefully on Thursday get started on the flippers. And then after the flippers, oh, I have one more. I have a couple rollovers and one more slingshot to do. 
And I think I'd be pretty much done with the play field. And then I got to do the back box. And then Brent's got to get over here and help me. But we'll see. But I think that's good for now. We clean this and we clean these five. And I'll finish the rest of this off tomorrow and then see where else I can get for an hour. But uh, that's it. Thank you. Let's get to it, Brent. Get it done, Brent. Waiting on Brent for everything. He's doing so much stuff. He's not helping me. Uh, take care. Have a have a good afternoon. See you, Pez. And uh, see you on the next one or wherever. Enjoy enjoy the world. Thank you for watching. We will be around uh, tomorrow. Same, roughly the same bat time. Almost the same bat station. But take care, everybody. We'll see you. Bye.